Let's get over to Doc Eason's on the double. Yes. Uh, the infirmary should be located on the west side, if I recall correctly. Pardon us. Good morning, everyone. The doctor's been waiting for you. Please, go on in. I cannot say I expected you to save me. Nonetheless, I'm glad you're in good health, Leticia. I, too, am glad to see you well, Marcus. Huh? Wait a second. Do you two know each other? And that makes you... Albert Bergholm. It's been quite some time, Marquez. That it has. I barely recognized you. And you, good sir, must be Raymond. I cannot thank you enough for saving the people of our fair town. Think nothing of it. Seeing you in good spirits is thanks enough. And so, Lady Leticia, to what do I owe the pleasure? I have come in search of Midas Felgreed and thought you might know his whereabouts. Hmm. What business do you have with him, if I may ask? I wish him to accompany me to the capital. A threat looms over the kingdom, and without his assistance, we shall succumb to it. My lady, I assume you are privy to the true cause of his resignation? I believe the royal family and its advisors took umbrage with his methods. Then you understand why I cannot in good conscience reveal his whereabouts. Nothing can change that. Nothing at all. Are you certain? Perhaps if your motivation differed, so would my answer. Marcus... I ask, you take your leave. And if you would be so kind, Refrain from calling upon me henceforth. <sighs> what the hell happened between you three? Had to be something, the way he was acting. Wait! Don't go! I need to ask you something! Nina? So, uh, Leticia, you're not just some page from the capital, are you? I don't think I've ever heard the doctor speak so deferentially to anyone in my life. The two of you also seem to know each other. Do you know Uncle Midas, too? Uncle Midas? At the very least, you have to know that Dr. Eason was one of Osirius' three wise men, just like Uncle Midas. So the doc's, like, famous or something? And suppose I do. Then you might be interested in this. My full name is Nina DeForge. DeForge? Would you happen to mean the same DeForge as... I do. My father, who served alongside Midas and Dr. Eason as one of the three wise men, is none other than... Filberto DeForge. So, what do you say? Can someone like little old me join you? Uh, maybe the street's not the best place for this. We can talk at my house. It's just on the other side of the inn. <laughs> Here we are. Sorry, it's kind of a mess. Please, make yourselves at home. She's researching Helgar's disease? If I may, where is Maester DeForge? He passed away seven years ago. He did? Yes, and ever since, Dr. Eason has been my guardian and my teacher. He taught me all I know about iatromancy. So you didn't learn anything from your dad? He did leave me a lot of documents, but no, he never taught me anything himself. And to be fair, I never even thought to ask. I had zero idea how important he or the doctor was before he died.
What the devil are you doing here? An accomplished semiomancer has died, and I wish to pay my respects. The deceased does not wish you to, so please take your leave. Yes, I suppose you are right. He wouldn't want to see my face. <gasps> you must be Filberto's daughter. I can see both him and Amalia in you. You have the face of a semiomancer. Perhaps she does, but Filberto did not wish for her to walk the same path. Hence, I raise her as my own. If Filberto is watching us from beyond, I am sure your words have put any fears he had to rest. I will leave you to grieve. Laticia, Albert, let us away. <sighs> I knew I heard the name Leticia before. Nina. Let me be honest with you, Your Highness. There's something I've wanted to do for a long time. I know it's presumptuous to ask, but if you promise to help me achieve it, then I promise to help you in return. I'll try and persuade the doc to tell you where Midas is. You will? Of course. I mean, it's not like you did anything wrong. Your family may have been at odds with him, but you've saved both him and this town. You are obviously a good person. Hey, uh, I remember the doctor saying something about if our motivation was different, his answer would be two. So, maybe we could work with that? I think that ship has sailed. Either way, now doesn't seem like the best time. No matter what we say, he's not going to listen to us. Ah! Ray, you mind coming with me to the infirmary? Alone? To do what, though? Just the usual work is all. Come on, let's go. Uh, okay. <laughs> what could they possibly be doing at the infirmary? Whatever it is, I have a bad feeling about it. To think that funeral was for Maester to forge. My ignorance shames me. You and I were but children. How could we remember? I disagree. We may have been young, but not so young as to forget. Our age is no excuse. Your Highness. Maester de Forge may have been the eldest of the Three Wise Men, but he had seen far fewer years than my father. That is for certain. It is quite strange. And soon! The talk's on his way as we speak! Pardon? Have... have we a destination? Place called Rythal, apparently. Going there to get meds. To... to get medicine? Whatever, who cares? Let's just go! Unless you want to face the doctor's wrath, then be my guest! Don't worry, Dad. I got this. You'll see. All right, now all that's left is to make it out of this place without getting caught. This part is off. It seems like... On the way home. So, Ray, do you serve the Osarian royal family too? Nah, I'm just a humble transporter. I was carrying some cargo for a client when I was attacked by thieves. And then my ship was destroyed, I got separated from my crew, and these two graciously helped me out of a tight spot. And now we're traveling around together looking for my friends, in what I guess you could call a mutually beneficial partnership. Wow, losing everything like that? How awful. I hope your friends are okay though.
By the way, where exactly is this rifle place, anyway? It lies to the northeast. From here, we need only travel eastward until the coastline comes into view. Gotcha. Now that you mention it, it's been a long time since I've seen a... Even one. Got no choice but to wander around until we find a lead. I'm not exactly from around here, so I have no idea where anything is until someone tells me. I see. Well, I'm certainly no expert either. But if there's anything you want to know, I'll do my best to fill you in. Awesome. That'd be a huge help. General awareness confirmed.
Neutralized. I cannot die. Warning. Energy levels low. Threat neutralized. This ocean breeze feels great. Looks like our path splits two ways here, though. We will arrive in Rifle regardless of which we choose. However, the route adjacent to the ocean is shorter. With Maester Marcus waiting on us, we have not the time for sightseeing. You're right. Let's handle our business quickly and get back as soon as we can. Welcome to Rythal. That was one hell of a trek. All right. So it's a port. Ray. I ain't gonna break our promise or anything. I was just thinking. Might be a ship bound for where Chloe touched down, you know? I see. We should make for the pier. If any fairies have successfully made the crossing, they shall be there. Place always this dead? Shouldn't be. To my knowledge, it's always bustling. Maybe this warrants an investigation? Why are the fairies Takato still out of commission? I can't run a business like this. You trying to hightail it to the capital too, huh? Well, I've got bad news for you. The Vale Empire's got it locked down with their warships, and they're not withdrawing them anytime soon. You are kidding me! If I were, prices wouldn't be through the roof. Can barely put food on the table myself. <sighs> Maybe those rumors about a war brewing weren't so far-fetched after all. Just forget Kato and the capital even exist. You'll sleep better at night. Guess the laws of supply and demand apply no matter what planet you're on. Distro goes down and prices go up. Speaking of which, we came here to buy stuff, right? Are we even gonna be able to do that? Not actually sure. I didn't think shipping routes would be closed when we left, so we might be in trouble. Mind if I hit the infirmary now? It's right around here and I don't want to risk missing out. Oh, you cannot be serious! There aren't any ships running? What's the holdup? When are they gonna set sail again? I honestly couldn't tell you. Regular service has been temporarily suspended due to the appearance of the Imperial warships. What? Temporarily suspended? Isn't there anything you can do? I can't do much if the ships don't set sail. Ooh! I got the best idea. You need to sneak into the Imperial capital. Huh? What? You gotta bust in there and knock some sense into somebody. The Emperor, whoever. Then the Emperor will stop sending out its warships and you guys can resume service, right? <laughs> That's a good one. Do I look like I'm joking? Because I'm not. At all. <laughs> Please, I told you! Regular service is suspended! Ugh, he was useless anyway. Ugh, but what am I supposed to do if their stupid ships are too chicken to set sail? You're gonna have to think of something, old Welch.
a most eccentric young woman, for lack of a better word. Yeah, you can say that again. Hey, looks like she might have dropped something. Oh, a ring. I believe this symbol represents the Vineyards, a well-known merchant family in Delric. Would it not? Perhaps we might keep an eye out next we are in Delric. My, though, what a rambunctious girl. The fairies might. Is full of the building on the they other are. side of the plaza is the hospital. Good afternoon. Is Dr. Vanell here? If it isn't little Nina, I heard those monsters were quite the handful. Wait, you did? How? When goods aren't coming in, your ears tend to perk up at news that might affect your bottom line. So then your stock is low, huh? I've got enough for the time being. Hold on a moment. I'll get you the usual. I don't want to be rude, but if all we're doing is picking up some drugs, remind me why you wanted us to tag along? Sorry, that's not the real reason. There's something I want Leticia to see. Sorry for the wait. Why the long face, Nina? If it's not too much trouble, can we see the patient? Uh, his illness is quite advanced. Just don't get too close. I'll make sure not to. If it's all right, I'd like to show you all something. Is he afflicted with... Yes, Helgar's disease. It's claimed the lives of 20 people already, and shows no signs of slowing down. That many? Leticia, if you don't mind, could I come with you to the capital? I need to visit the Semiomancy Consortium. What exactly is that? The main institution where semiomantic research is conducted. It has the best facilities in the kingdom. That goal I was talking about? It's to cure Helgars. And to do that, I'll need to learn a lot more about Iatromancy. Please, I just want to rid the world of the disease that killed my father. The rub is, would Maester Marcus approve of that? If he doesn't, we'll never learn enough about it, and more people will die. I can't let this disease spread any further than it already has. Dr. Ezen and I can only do so much by ourselves. I understand your concern, but that's not why we're here. We're here to convince the doctor to disclose Maester Felgreed's whereabouts. I personally have no issue with escorting you to the Consortium. However, were that to irreparably sour your relationship with Dr. Eason, it would defeat the whole purpose of this endeavor. I don't know. Call it a gut feeling, but I seriously doubt Marcus is that stubborn of a person. Do you? Anywho, let's head to Delric. Taking detours isn't gonna earn us any favors with him. Fair enough. It's not as if we gain anything by staying in Rifle. Uh, uh, Albert! Uh, pardon the indiscretion, but no need to worry. I can stand by my... Uh. Yikes, he's burning up. This is bad. Dr. Vanell, we need you to look at someone right away. Please! Illness and travel are inseparable bedfellows. I doubt it's anything serious. That is a great relief. There is something I'd like to ask, however. What manner of creation is that arm? Uh, um... Before I continue, please speak to no one of what you will hear. Hmm... He has lived with that arm for 14 years now. I can only assume he has lived with that pain equally long, abiding it with stoic countenance so as... so as not to worry me. No need for such decorum. Someone of your station does not need to lower herself to mine. <sighs> as for Albert, I'm afraid I'm not the Iatromancer Marcus is. I recommend his second opinion. 
Tell him those are my exact words, and I'm certain he'll oblige. He will? Marcus isn't so set in his ways that he'd ignore Nina. Nor Filberto's wishes. Dr. Vanel. You've had enough excitement today. Go rest. I'll tell Albert when he comes to. Very well. Thank you, Doctor. How is he? Well enough to be discharged tomorrow morning. A little fatigued is all, apparently. <sighs> Good to hear. The doctor also suggested we have Maester E's in looking. The inn is near the fountain at the top of the hill, if I recall correctly. Pardon us. Oh, welcome. The harbor lights are quite lovely come nightfall. Rest well. Okay, now that we're all here, let's go pick up Albert. The clinic was just down the hill on the left, yeah? Thank you all for looking well after me, and, and sorry to have been such Feel a burden, a especially to you, Nina. You absolutely sure you're okay? I am. You shan't see me on my knees again. Bluster if you want. You will not weasel out of your trip to Dr. Eason's. Of course. Perish the thought. Okay then. Let's get on getting back to Delric. Okay, first we hand over the drugs to Dr. Ezen, then we buy Right then. The infirmary was on the west side of the village, on top of the hill. Let us make haste. Nina! Here you go, Doctor. The, uh, medicine you asked for and stuff. Don't hear you go me, Missy. And what in the name of all that's holy are you doing here? Maester, do not be angry at Nina. She has only brought me here to see you as a patient. Uh, did I hear you right? Dr. Vanell examined me in rifle. However, he suggested that I get a second opinion from you. These are for you, the referral and my medical records. I'll see what I can do. Prosthetic, huh? This lasted 14 years? Anyone else but Midas, and it would have fallen apart ages ago. But even he couldn't keep it from deteriorating. He created this prosthesis using semiomancy. It was designed to grow with its wearer, as would true flesh. Wait, so not only does it move like a normal arm, it grows like one too? How is that not the invention of the century? If only everyone were as elated as you upon its unveiling, things would have been quite different. Maester Eason. You may put your armor back on. I've seen all that I need to. I appreciate Vanel's referral, but I know little about this arm. Midas, on the other hand. All right, I'll tell you. Midas currently resides in the village of Ada. He's your only hope of fixing Albert's prosthesis. Thank you so much. A word of caution, 
He is a peculiar one. It was he the Council directed their ire toward years ago. Persuading him will be no simple task. Nor will it dissuade us. Thank you again. I know you did not have to tell us. Any hyatromancer in my position would have. Wait, so, so, um, does that mean we're leaving right now? Indeed. Time is of the essence, and Maester Felgreed is integral to our mission. We cannot afford to waste a moment. Oh, I, I guess that makes sense. Then, um, uh, how do I say this? Nina. Fret not, for I would be honored if you joined us. The more allies I have in this endeavor, the better. You heard the princess. Now see if the doc's cool with it. Uh, uh, okay, I will. So I guess, um, Leticia, I'll be with you in just a sec. <sighs> Dr. Eason, can I ask you something? Of course. What is it? We should give them some privacy. That we should. So, where is this, Ada? To the north of the Larkus region, at the summit of a perilously steep mountain. We should provision ourselves accordingly. As an added benefit, Nina will have the time she needs to settle her affairs. Works for me. Oh, oh exquisite! Of good folk. Pardon us. Nina's probably done with her talk by now. Shall we return to the infirmary then? 